Wildcats. I'm Callie. And I'm Tiffany. And welcome to our show. The girls basketball team had their last two games of the season last week. On Monday night, the girls played Centennial Middle School. Both the girls varsity team and JV team won. For the varsity team, Sinai Forrester led the team with 15 points. Gianna Como had 10 points and Bella Stewart had 8 points with some awesome assists during the game. And on Wednesday night, the girls wrapped up the season against their rivals John Long. This varsity lost in a very exciting game. 30-22. The varsity season ended 4-3. Congratulations on an exciting season. The JV girls won big and ended up undefeated this season. Ariana Murray had a great game to help lead the team to its undefeated season. Great job, Wildcats, on a great season. In TEWMS boys soccer, Whitman Wildcats soccer, the boys also had two games last week. On Tuesday, December 7th, the boys played Stewart. The team won 8-0, and the team also had a game on Wednesday against Cypress Creek. The team won 5-1 to to remain undefeated for the season with two games left this week. Tonight, the team plays their rivals, John Long, here at Wayman. We want everyone to attend the game. It's going to be very exciting tonight when they finish off with a year on tomorrow night, December 14th. TEWMS 2021-2022 Girls Soccer Tryout Information. Coach this year will be Coach Tokowski. Dates for the tryouts are January 5th through the 7th. The time each day will be from 3.15 to 4.45, and you must be picked up by 5 p.m. What you need. Shin guards, cleats, and a water bottle. Also, there are seven forms that will need to be completed, and all forms need to be completed before you can try out. You can find all of the forms on the school website in the athletic section. If you have turned in this, in this paperwork from a previous sport, then we have it on file. There is no fee to try out, but if you are selected, then the team, then you will need to pay participation fees. So come out and try out for the team. TEWS 2021 to 2022 boys basketball tryout information. Eighth grade Tuesday January 4th, seventh grade Wednesday January 5th, and sixth grade Thursday January 6th. Combined by invitation only Friday January 7th. Practices each day will be from 2:30 to 4:30 p.m. What you need to do slash bring. 1. Watch the three videos that are required to print out the completion certificates. 2. Physical complete on FHSAA form ELL2 by doctor must be dated. We cannot accept any other physical forms. 3. Complete the five parental release forms and note the Pasco County Athletic Participation Form must be notarized. This paperwork can be found on the athletics page of the Wayman website. If you have turned in this paperwork for volleyball or cheer, we do not have it. We have it and you do not need a new one. Four, you will need a ride home no later than 5 p.m. Coaches this year, coaches for this year's boys basketball team are varsity coach Ackett and JV coach Mine. There is no fee to try out, but there will be a participation fee if you are selected for the team. So come out and try out for the boys basketball team. Hear ye, hear ye, come one, come all, and try out for the 31st annual TEWMS Talent Show. The King requests that you collect your audition forms from either the back office or the school website. If you are to submit a physical form, please deliver it to room 202 by December 16th. You can win up to $50 if you manage to impress the Elite Fairy Tale Council. We hope you come join us on our wild and mystical adventure. Support our Wildcat Band. It is our pleasure to announce the TEWMS All-County Band students. Lexi Layton, first chair French horn, Owen Monk, second chair trumpet, Christopher Simpson, second chair trombone, Santiago Carrillo, tenth chair, Aubrey McLawn, third chair alto sax, and Wyatt Stockwell, fourth chair trombone. These magnificent musicians will represent our schools at the All County Band concert in January. They learned their scales, mastered their prepared piece, and survived the treacherous sight reading excerpt. It takes a lot of guts and courage to audition in front of a judge. Our students were able to get through it and make it into the Pasco All-County Band. Please give these wonderful students a shout out during class today and encourage them to continue striving for greatness. And don't forget about the bell changes that will start when we come back for third quarter. Our start and end times will be changing from 8.30 to 2.50 each day to 8.10 to 2.30. Here are some of the updated times that you should be aware of. Bus drop-off should be pretty close to 7.50 a.m. Announcement to students to go to cafeteria should be right around 7.55. And the first bell will ring at 8.07 a.m. for students to go to class. If you have any questions on a big decision made by district, please see administration to help resolve any questions you might have. Theme Thursdays will be continuing for December this week, but there are some fun every day as we get ready for break. Today, Monday, December 13th, is Merry Monday, Dress in Your Festive PJs. Tomorrow, Tuesday, December 14th, is Clash of the Carolers, 
Sixth graders were something red, seventh graders were something green, and eighth graders were something white. Wednesday, December 15th, wear something that is Florida Christmas vacation attire. Thursday, December 16th, be a part of Santa's workshop. Sixth graders come as elves, seventh graders come as, come as reindeer, and eighth graders come as decorated as gifts. Friday, December 17th is Festive Friday. Wear your ugly holiday sweater. December 8th, 6th period, 50 PBIS points. Warm up with hot chocolate and meet up with friends. J January 12th, eyes on the prize, kickball and field day for 50 PBIS points during 5th period. Other stuff happening around CEWMS. Today, December 13th, district finals will be for PE, research, and intro to arts. Also today, the boys soccer team will play John Long Middle School at TEWMS at 6 p.m. Tomorrow, December 14th, there will be district finals for health, PE, and also December 14th, the boys will play their last game of the season against Pineview Middle School away at Pineview at 6 p.m. December 15th is civics quarterlies. Also December 15th is HTP and fire videos during study hall. Also December 15th, audacity of the mind practice from 3 to 5 in room 202. Also, December 15th is the FFA MTG at 3 with Ms. Benson. December 16th is District Finals Makeup for All. Also, December 16th, Students Recognition for Second Quarter at Study Hall and Cafeteria. December 17th, last day of quarter two. And don't forget, December 18th through January 3rd will no longer be no school for winter break. That's it for the news. Have a great Wildcat Day. And remember you are a roar.